Hello guys, welcome back to EU4, playing a Sweden Iron Man. Let us continue. Oh. Our overlord decided to construct a building in our country, they built a temple in Stockholm. Oh, okay. Well, uh, thank you, Denmark. <laughs> I'm not gonna be your subject, though. Uh, if I can help it. But, uh, thank you nonetheless. Alright, alright. Uh... Now we're getting 8, 5, and 2, right, because we focused here and our current king, oh yeah, the Danish king has 0 in military skill. He is calm though, so I guess that's okay. They will learn in time. Okay. I think I need to sneeze. No. I guess not. But uh, that's good with the temple here, since we have 12 uh, base tags. That's pretty handy with the temple. Should give us a large upgrade in taxes. Let's see when it's done. Right now we're getting 1.02, so let's test it out. Right, we'd also gain the ability ourselves to build churches. Yeah, we did. Uh, here, and I guess that's it for now. Oh, boy. why? You have three, okay, two, 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 one, one, okay. So it's just, no one else really has a lot of taxes. Damn, yeah, the taxes is really low here. Three noble. <laughs> and then of course 12 here. Uh, so yeah, we almost gained, well, we gained roughly 0 0.4, well, 0 0.39, right? So, almost half a docket, which is pretty good for one building. Alright, so, thank you Denmark, we're still gonna go bye-bye when we can, but, uh, Denmark has negative prestige, mm, I see. They do have a rather large army. Mm -hmm. England still holding on to stuff in France. We could also build marketplaces in, well, our two trading areas, Stockholm and Elfsborg. So, do that. Elfsborg was a trading place, right? Yeah. Good. And I think that's it of what we own, at least. Yeah. Hmm. To support a loyalist. Oh. Well, I think we can still, well... Well, if we had a diplomat, we might be able to. Mm. Well, let's just wait when I go to war right now anyway, so... We're sorta by, sort of biding our time at the moment, hoping that Denmark will go to war. We will, of course, not help, and hopefully they will lose the war, or at least lose a lot of troops. And then, when we haven't used any of our troops, we can attack them. And uh, become free. And an actual independent nation. Yeah. Relative power. Uh, okay. That's fine. We do have a bit of, yeah, inflation. Not much. Not enough to where I want to hire a advisor, maybe? Well, oh, missionary strength. Nah. We might want to hire one here. Yeah, since it's so low. Let's do that. Recall, recall. Um, so we can. Yeah, independence. Ugh, it's a lot of dudes, though. We'll fight our own. East Frisia, Liege. Would really like some help here. Eh, nah, nothing. Novgorod, Castile. Eh, nah, Novgorod. You helped. That might be enough to. We might be able to pull it off, maybe. Uh, our force limit is now 17. Oh, it would actually be 20 if we weren't a subject nation. I guess that will go away once we do independence war, right? Uh, since we won't be actual subject while the independence war is going on. So, up to 20. Alright, that's good to know. Let's hire one more infantry. For now, uh, how about here? Mm, two more. We did gain a well more force limit after upgrading quotation mark Stockholm. 
to 20, no, 35, right. Okay, we call. Mm. When will we gain a factory? Workshop, farm estate level 6, okay. Dock level 6 here, and down here, barracks level 6, okay. So, farm estates is the first one. I can't recall, farm estates goes to... I'll just go, well, grain, obviously, right? Uh, is it only grain, or maybe also livestock, perhaps? Oh, uh, tech? Mm, yes. Our first idea group. I think I'll take defensive, I'll try and get military drill. Uh, it's pretty good. Pretty good idea group, especially the number two here. Insanely good. Uh, I don't really play a lot of U4 multiplayer, if at all. Um, I did used to play with some real-life friends back in the day, but um, yeah. The meta, as far as I know, in the multiplayer scene, is getting this always defensive ideas first for the more morale early on. But I'm not sure if that is the meta at the moment, but um, oh well. Right, anyone we can talk to? I don't know. Let's just try here. Uh, you still don't want to? No. <laughs> Trust. Opinion. Oof. Call. We stop supporting that. Okay. Danish subject loyalty. Oh, they got the, uh, they got this one right. So we almost have to get into the next era before we can sort of break free or at least gain support. Maybe we'll see. Just waiting for Denmark to attack someone who is not me. They do have claims over here. Who are you allowed to? Regan Teutonic Order. Okay. Hmm. Not sure. Yeah, this is bad, but we, it will get higher further down the line. But um, Scarborough, should we build one more or wait? I also want to sort of save up for factories. The earlier you get factories, the better. It's really good. Boost your trade as well. A lot, actually. Um, because more goods equal more trade value, and if you control an area with a lot of goods, that also equals a lot of trade value, and that equals to a lot of money. We could upgrade the marketplace here in Elfborg. It's not really... Eh. Won't really change much. Maybe we'll just save the 200 dockets at the moment. And knowledge is power, sure. Scotland. Come on, Scotland. Too many diplomatic relations. God damn it. God damn it. Mm. Five four five. Okay. Mm. Already the next tech here. Five six six. Yeah. They still have that six 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 dude, right? Yiri ze podebrat. How do you say this? Jiri said Portabrat. That's the English way of saying it, I suppose. <laughs> but it's not how you say it. His air is decent. Above average, I would say. But him? He's insanely good. Age 40, so what? He's age... 18 when the game starts? Very young, I think. Yeah, pretty much. 46, so he... No, wait. Is it... A, oh, I thought they started with him. Do they start with a uh, Interregnum? Don't recall. Oh, but you ate that stuff. Okay. So, a bit slow start here in Sweden, but I guess that's okay. New. Come on. <laughs> Why won't anyone help me? Scotland. 
They all love Denmark. Except these dudes. Burgundy. Really? Hmm. Lost our general. Okay. Okay, they're sorta happy again. Can we demand? Oh. Oof. Ugh. We can. Fine. We'll piss them off for a while. That's okay. Sorta. Okay, get this tick. Five, five, five. Florence. Where did the Renaissance start? Florence? Uh, no, Rome. Okay. Hmm. I'm looking forward to the new update they will bring, or expansion, where they will redo Italy, uh, parts of the Balkans, uh, I think also parts of Germany, maybe? Uh, what else? What else? Um, can't recall anything else, but uh, yeah. And also redoing the whole mercenary thing, more like, I guess, CK2 with mercenary groups or companies you can hire instead of just like clicking and making a mercenary army on your own. That will change the game <laughs> a lot. Completely uh, new feature there. Okay, Muscovy is eating Novgorod. Now, if I got to border Muscovy, maybe they would... Uh, help me become independent and we could maybe ally them and just move west for the time being take Norway and Denmark and then I don't know at some point attack Muscovy or Russia maybe maybe not okay wait did we used to earn four point something ducats hmm. what happened what happened not sure. Trade? Yeah. Down to 11 here. Ugh. A relative power to Denmark, 88.5. I have one more. I know I th the, the, your army size also counts for how much liberty desire you have, so. Once we get into the next era, they will lose that minus 30, and it will be, I guess, a lot easier to be rebellious. I don't think, well, we could just go to war with them. It wouldn't really change anything. Um, but I'm just not sure if this accounts for if people want to help me or not. Which is a bit, yeah, uncertain. Uh, get this. Get the bonus to production. And corruption down as well. Let's see. Pass this, sure. Oh. Mm. What do we want? <sighs> War cost, yeah, but I, I guess I'm not sure if we'll enter a war or not. I also keep forgetting about this ability pretty much all the freaking time. Now we could take this idea, but I'd rather try and get level six archibus. Okay, we can build a factory, right? And a factory, yes. The earlier the better. Bonk. Might not seem like much right now, but it will down the line. Mm -hmm. We uh preposterous. Legitimacy is oh, not something we have, so we don't really care about it actually. It's not ours, it's the Danish uh legitimacy we we're using. The Swedish kings often depended on cooperation with the estates, especially with the large peasant class, to balance out the nobility. During Gustavus Adolfus' reign, however, a historic compromise was made with the nobility, who pledged to loyally put their resources to the nation's disposal in return for new privileges. Mm. Sweet. Sweet Jesus. Okay, I guess we want to save up for as many of these farm estates as possible. Yeah, farm estates, right? Uh, yeah, farm estates. Mm -hmm. 93 now. Uh, build one more. 
let's see what this will go up to once we build another infantry. So 92.6, if you see at the top one to the left of the green number. Yeah, goes up by a percentage or something like that. That's good. Come on, Denmark. Go and die in some war somewhere. East Frisian Liege. Uh, Danzig, we don't really care much about Danzig. <laughs> Vivo. That's just grain, right? Yeah. Nothing major. Nothing major. Wait, are we getting corruption? Oh, right. Uh, the event we took. Right, right, right. I forgot about that. Increase serfdom until 80. Ugh, seven more years. Uh, rightful. Oh, oh, we can ask for Gotland. Oh, we got it. Peter's fault. What the hell? Damn, son. Well, thank you. Spank you. And we already, yes, have it called. Nice. Hey, another 10 development. Actually, a pretty good island. 10 development in total. That's a lot. Our highest one, except Stockholm, of course, I guess is over with 8. There will be blood. Yeah. Damn, son. Sweet. Oh, the Engelberg Rebellion. Engelberg... <laughs> what? Engelbrecht... Engelbrechtsons... En <laughs> Engelbrecht Engelbrechtson is a legendary and enigmatic figure in Swedish medieval history. In 1434... No, 1434. The peasants of uh, da Dalarna, the Dales in Sweden, had... has had enough... had has... has had enough of... Y of Union King Eric's crushing taxes and brutal sheriffs, led by Engelbrecht, the peasants and miners, supported by certain factions within the church and a gentry, rose up in open rebellion. They captured castle after castle and soon controlled the greater parts, the greater part of Sweden. Meanwhile, Eric Puke had joined Engelbrecht in revolt in Finland. For two years, Engelbrecht was the de facto ruler of Sweden, but intrigue among the noblemen and infighting between Engelbrecht, Erik Puke, and Karl Knutsson finally resulted in Engelbrecht's murder at the hands of Mons Bengtsson, Nack Orkdag. Having murdered, stand by the Union. Pick up the torch of freedom. Oh, oh. tempting stability, but pick up the torch of freedom. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now this will go away over time, and this one will stay at this high number, so it's manpower we can use later. So I guess that's fine. Uh, they'll pay for this treachery. Uh, fine. Lose some prestige. Uh, come on. Ooh, Muscovy. Ah, you don't bother me yet. God damn it, Muscovy. England. Fine. Oh no, France. Whatever. Just try something here. Okay, Scotland aid uh, the miners over here. The the what now? The Isles. Isle of Man. There is an achievement as playing as Island of Man, Isle of Man, and then owning all the islands in the world. I think <laughs> sounds pretty tough. Um, right, a random event, base tax production. Mm, we'll do this. Okay. Grant charters. Ask for money. They will also redo the states completely in the next big update slash expansion. But that sh expansion shouldn't come out until I think they said after New Year's Eve or next year or something like that. That's a long time, but I guess it's fine. High income. Ooh, let's actually wait with that. It's because our factory is not known. Let's maybe try and have money for two factories, and then pop this, and then, I don't know, save 10%, but hey, it's still money. Build buildings, yeah. Five churches and five workshops. 
Yeah, we want that as well. Just get this as early as possible. Force limit. Expand Sweden. Total development grown by at least 50. No? Uh, we started at 107 or 117? Right, 117 perhaps. Right, so 167, then we could get it. Gold near for the Ottomans, alright. So, I never actually played Sweden, so that's why I'm maybe bubbling about here. I'm not sure if... I, I guess the pros, <laughs> the real pros, have probably already become independent. <sighs> but I guess it's not really my playstyle of being super aggressive. I guess, yeah, well, it's not. Not really. Swedish Pomerania. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Diplomatic insult. We will f not. We will try to ease the tensions. That's fine. This is going away. Good. I can't believe they actually gave us Scotland. Nice. Sweet, sweet, sweet. That's, uh, hey, half a docket more per month. Yeah. Let's hire one more infantry. Uh, mm, no, not cannons yet, but we do want this. I think, um, as we saw in Mu and Texas, once you had, um, like, a head and tech here, you would get a bonus of one military tradition like modifier as long as you were head of tech in military i think they should introduce that in this game as well uh, right now there's no, no bonus in getting a head of tech well except having better tech of course <laughs> but like here you get more trade less corruption more production less corruption here nothing but uh, hey oh well the baltic's fleet uh, naval force limit. Oh, what? Temple in Gotland. Oh. Well, yes. Thank you. Unless you're using my money. Are you using my money? No. Surely not. Surely not. Mm. No active interactions with us. Okay. Seven dockets, I guess that's good. Well, it is good. Ooh, production. Oh yeah, Dallas Gorgon. Donk. In Stockholm, yes. Even though I did say we want to save up for farm estates. Oh, we could have done this, but... Uh, hmm. No, let's... I guess... Wait for another farm estate and then maybe do it. Norway... Uh, hmm, do this. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty damn good. We still want to remove a few things from the estates here, especially the, um, the nobility. Um, yeah, we need to get them to at least 40 here, I guess. Then remove maybe Bergschlagen from them. Gift to the state. Uh, well, I will take the money. Let's get this tech as well. 666, six, six. okay. Wait, what? 505, 666. Five. Six, six. That doesn't make any sense. Does it? Oh, there we go. More trade for a while until next year. Because then we won't be ahead of tech anymore. So we're just catching up here. We don't really, uh, we can't really afford any ideas, which is a bit annoying. But um, I'd rather have good tech than ideas right now. Um, even though getting um, to military drill would be really, really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How's 
life going elsewhere in Europe and the Near East? Hmm. Nothing. Oh, Aragorn is eating Castile. Okay. Ottomans lobbing a bit. Not nothing special about that. Very usual or very common, rather. We do have a government reform, though. Hmm. Decentralized, centralized. We want centralized. Time it goes away faster. Yes, please. A new air. And here. Yes. Another idea group. Uh, what do we want? Hmm. I think maybe innovativeness, get that early on. That's really good getting it. Well, I think it, it's still good. I, ideally, you want this as the first maybe idea group and get to here well as fast as possible. Minus 10% on all tech cost. And well, the earlier you get that, the more tech you can have a. Well, the more points you can save on more techs, if that makes sense. Um, also, with the institution uh, cost. Yeah. Uh, also, the earlier you can get that, that before most institutions, at least, uh, yeah, well, you could pros probably get it before Renaissance, or at least when you took, before you can take Renaissance, uh, just waiting, or just wait with taking it, and then once you've taken this, then pop Renaissance, and then you have saved 10% on, or you will save 10% on all institutions. So that's uh, good. Now let's see here. Uh, Burgers go down, clergy goes no up and down. Let's do the reverse because they are a bit behind in loyalty. The clergy. Uh, yeah. Okay, you're sort of happy real soon. Might want to remove Bergslagen from your clutches. The Kalmar Recess. Following Sweden's victory over Russia in 1497, the scheming union King Hans realized he had to curb the power of the Swedish marshal Sten Stua, the elder. Defeating the Swedes at Rotabro, he marched into Stockholm and was crowned King of Sweden, but only after granting amnesty to Sten Stua and the rebels. This event, this event was called the Kalmar Recess. In 1500, following King Hans's crushing defeat by the peasant, peasant rebels in the Dithmarsk, Sten Stua and the Swedish nobles rejected the Kalmar Recess, claiming Hans had not been honoring the agreement. This was to mark the beginning of the end for the Union of Kalmar. Reject. No. Reject. Oh, oh damn. Historical rivals with Denmark. Oh, okay. I see. Uh, did that change anything here? Oh, it did. Scotland. Uh, yes. In support, no. Uh, Scotland, would that be enough? I don't think so. Still have allies. East Frisia and Liege. I would rather do it once you've been to war or something. Hmm. We could build a farm estate now. Uh, you know what, let's just do this. And donk. And Elfsborg, yes. 427, I see. I see. Okay, so we need uh, these two texts to be able to get up to speed. Mm. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, it feels so crazy playing EU4 and it's not lagging constantly or <laughs> crashing, even though Mu and Texas. Uh, was and is a really good mod. The stability issues mm, is something to be left aside, at least on my computer. I'm not sure if anyone else suffers the same malice as me. My computer is pretty good, so I think it's more maybe, maybe of a common thing. Now we need five churches and we need one, two, three, uh, five workshops so we can get the next one. Uh, Mm hmm. Well, I guess we could remove this from this date stock. Probably piss them off something mighty. Yeah. But now it's mine. Well, it's the states. Why is this six? It's because oh, it belongs to the clergy, right? They get a bonus to uh, tax collection. 
collecting. Okay, my phone beeped, so we need to cut in a moment. Um, uh, let's see, we do have a discount on buildings for how long? Is it 10, 15 years? Until 05. Okay, that's uh, 25 years. Right. Good. The question is... Ooh, do one more. One, two, three. Then we can't build any more of those factories, at least for now. A lot of internal development here at the start of s as playing as Sweden, I suppose. Hmm. Denmark is not... it's just like doing nothing. It's <laughs> really annoying. <laughs> Why, why won't you, like, eat some of these German miners, Denmark? Uh, ignore... F uh, fine. Okay, making 10 ducats now. It's good, good, good. Um, let's wait for another factory here. It's almost time. And maybe after that, try and get those five churches and five workshops up and running. And then we can take the next idea. Build buildings. Three admin points and ten dockets. Now, the ten dockets is per year, so that's less than a docket per month. Like, what, eight, 0 0.8? But hey, it's free money for 25 years. So, yeah. I guess that's fine. So I guess it's what, like 250 dockets you get in total? Yeah. Hey, it's a couple of free buildings. And spare change. End of the Kelma Union. Uh, Vesta Ostra Skånelan. We do want that. Right. Um, bonk, bonk, bonk. Uh, sure. You are almost done here. We also have a discount on construction speed, right? I think it also gets construction speed discount. Yeah, 25%, so that's pretty handy. The faster the better. Mm -hmm. uh, we could also hire more advisors with our money. Buildings or advisors? Ooh. I think maybe advisors points are really good. This is a mana point game. Uh, and we don't really need to convert anything, so we'll take taxes. Still make a decent buck. Invest in an idea. Well, we are actually ahead here. So, why the hell not? Prestige decay. Minus one, that's good. As in, it stops the decay. Well, the decay goes slower or whatever. It's basically plus one prestige, pretty much. Uh, fine, fine. What now? Master recruiter. Uh, discipline dude, I suppose so. Cost 18 ducats to hire. Now, you give 0 0.8, you give 0 0.6. So, the workshop, that's our one, two, three, third. And we have three churches as well. Yes, we will take the... Inflation penalty, one. This gives minus two, right, so we don't want to do this yet. Uh, the farm estate almost done, so let's see, our income, 8.11. And, next tick, 8.43, yeah, so 0.3-ish. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> That's good. Do we need to cut? Right. Bloody hell. Stay calm, take pride. Yeah, sure. Save some money on our army. Uh, leave them. Uh, no. <sighs> Cost is so unhappy. Here we go again. Oh, shit. Do this. And let's beat their behinds again. Got them noble scum. Alfred. Alfred Jeerhorn. Oh, Alfred. Not that great. And we can wait one more tick, I think. And then we'll do force this. Uh, 
crush. Sure. Oh, right, we could build cannons. Right? No? No, not yet. Okay. Hit up here. Ugh. Good thing we have a bonus to removing autonomy from our government. Now, where are you going? Vipo. Oh, to the fort. Mm. Go over here. I think Obo is planes, right? We might get a straight crossing. Perhaps. Probably. Uh, oh, Denmark is coming to help. How nice. Oh, we should have let you... Uh, stop! Don't help. Oh, well, too late. Oh, you killed them before we arrived. Or something. Okay, head over here. Yes, Denmark. Go and kill my rebels for me. Hopefully you will also go up north and kill these guys. Donk, donk. Yes, good, good. How's this looking? We can build one more, that's fine. And we have three churches and three... What do you call them? Uh, workshops. Here. Let's fall. Here to Stockholm. Are you gonna kill them or not? Yes, you are. Good. I guess we could probably lower maintenance again. Are you fully reinforced? You are. Nails. Also lower this. And Denmark should take care of these rebel strongholds for us. Hmm. Interesting. Still only six years. Mm -mm -mm. Getting this early is really, really good. Here we'll gain courthouse and number of states. Not that important. I think maybe we want to try and die for this. Maybe be a bit behind on admin tech for a while, but it will benefit us in the long run. Uh, right, uh, I don't know. Combat ability in capital terrain planes. Milan controls the Pope. You beat that. Good, good, good. Uh, we can take this which we want. Okay. Cannons here. Good. Now, this is... What are we building here? Right. Farm estates. Right. Uh, 50 days. One, two, three, four. One more. Vibon. Over there. Fine. Okay. We'll cut once this farm estate is done. And then a tick has gone by. Yeah. Uh, New Year's Eve. We'll cut. Oh. Look at all those. This money we're gaining. Mm -mm -mm. Sweet Jesus. Alright, so we have to cut, so uh, thank you very much for watching. A uh, bit slow episodes here, but uh, we'll get there soon enough. So, uh, thanks you very much for watching. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button. I very much appreciate your support, and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.